The milk tanker needs to come down this driveway so it can't be icy or slippery. That's the only way to get in. So we'll have to clear it. Obviously for the tanker to be able to get in, I've got to clear this bit. Because lorries aren't the best to get through this. And this is where the tank will turn around, so clear this up, pop the thick bits there. Yeah, get this cleared up, then I'll show you after. Pretty much the best we can do out on the road. There's not much we, not much more we can do really. Did this. Now just finishing off the this bit of the driveway to actually be able to get up. It's a little bit sloped, so we have to sort that. Out. But yeah, hopefully it all will be fine and be able to get in and get the milk. At the moment, we're just using a tractor. To so feed all the animals, obviously cars are going to get through, so structure, feed and mill everywhere. This is just how we're getting out of the snow. Not doing too bad at the moment. And apart from this bottom bit, the driveway is pretty much done and we'll put some grit over the top to make sure they can get out again once they're down since it is on a slight slope. But the tanker should be fine now, so job's done. Dig up the driveway, but you've got to get close, so it's still going to be really slippery. And now we are putting up the feeders, and these sides need to be cut right. And this mat is here, so these sparks do not melt the plastic. But let's put some of these up. Got that one mainly up. That's three done. He's getting out of it. Obviously, can't go out that way because um, stuff's in the way. No, 
snow, snow. Now unfortunately I wasn't able to film them putting up that feed barrier, but there will be another video on it properly next time. But for now, let's get on with some more cubicles. If you watched the last video, we roughly put these cubicles down. They're not properly in yet because they're not straight, but we will eventually do that. And what we're going to do today is put the bars across the top and some on the back and get that sorted. So what you do is you get this bigger piece, put it on there, smaller piece in this ring part. Obviously put it underneath the bar like this and then you get this weird shaped thingy, put it over Whoops, one of these rings go underneath through there and then you put the bolts on there so that's what I'm going to do now and we are putting the brackets on here as you can see in the middle of doing that one and we put them on all the rest for this top bar we're going to continue with that now put them all the way down through is that one done and obviously we'll go through and tighten them all up with spammer. And that one is on. Quite easy to do. Obviously these aren't tight, we go over them. Yeah, just get all these ones done. So now, We've done this whole side and we're obviously eventually going to have to go all the way along there. But now we will tighten them, make sure they're all straight and then tighten them. And then that will look good. They are all secure and straight, so we can start with the back bit now. And we have now started doing these middle cubicles. These are going to take a lot longer to put up than the other ones, but we are getting it done now. So what we need to do is get these red bar thingies, measure them, cut them to size, put the cubicles on and put the top bars on. And I'll show you all that.
and this is the progress so far we've mainly just put them in place we haven't tightened anything up yet but we will do that soon we just want to make sure everything is straight and right before we start tightening things and that's all done for the moment i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and hopefully in the next video this will all be done but if you have enjoyed then subscribe and i'll see you in the next one